Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are in grade 5, module 2, lesson number 8, and tonight we are fluently multiplying multi-digit whole numbers using the standard algorithm and we are using estimation to check for the reasonableness of our answers. So, I kind of hinted at that at the end of last night's lesson and we're definitely going to be doing that right off the top here with today's problems. So let's take a look at one of them. Problem number 1 Directions are a little complicated. Let's take a look at them. Estimate the product first. Solve by using the standard algorithm. Use your estimate to check the reasonable reasonableness of the product. Now, I'm not going to read. I'm not going to do problem one a for you, but I am going to look at it just to say to to show you how they're figuring out an estimation. So they they look at 312 times 149, and they say, okay, well, let's see, 312. If we were to round that to the nearest hundred, that's about 300. And you can see they've used the squiggly um, equal sign here to indicate that this is an estimate. So about 300 times. And then how many hundreds is this? 149. Well. It's actually right in the middle, sort of, right? But it is below 150, so if we were to estimate that, we would say that it's around 100. Then they go ahead and do the uh, multiplication of the estimate. So they say 300 times uh, 100 is 30,000. So when they go ahead and then do the standard algorithm here below, they're going to check their answer at the bottom to see, is it in the neighborhood of 30,000? And if it is, we'll know that our product is reasonable. So let's go ahead and try that process with 1D. 1D. Uh, let's see, 1D asks us to multiply the following. We are supposed to multiply 691 times 305. Okay, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here so we have a little bit more room to work with. So 691. First of all, let's estimate. So 691, let's see, how many hundreds are in 691? Let's see, there's 600. And then would we round up or down? Well, let's see, that is much closer to 700 than it is to 600. So I'm going to say that our estimate here is that this is about 700. And let's see, how about our second number, 305. Well, that's a pretty easy one to estimate. We're going to say that that's about 300. And then we're going to be able to say that our estimate is these two numbers multiplied together. 7 times 3 is 21. And then how many tens do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4 tens. So 1, 2, 3, 4 tens. So we think that our answer should be in the neighborhood of 210,000. That's our estimate. So let's go ahead and do the math and see if that works out. So I'm going to do it a little bit over to this side. So 691 times 305. Let's go ahead and do our work. Let's see. 5 1s times 1 1 would be just 5 1s. Okay. Next up, 5 1s times 9 10s would be 45 10s. Let's see. 45 10s we would record this way. 5, and then we would record under the 4. Awesome. That's 45 10s or 450. Then we say 5 1s times 6 hundreds would be 30 hundreds. 30 hundreds would be 3,000. Uh, I'm sorry, 30 hundreds plus 4 more hundreds would be 34 hundreds. And there's 34 hundreds. We can cross out our 4 to indicate we've used it. Awesome. Now let's see. Normally we would take our next partial product, right, and we would take this, this 0 times everything up here, but we don't really need to do that. We know that 0 times this number is going to be 0. So let's just move straight to the hundreds. 3 hundreds times 1 would be 3 hundreds, so that's 300, like that. Next up, let's see, 3 hundreds times 9 tens would be 27, let's see, 27 with 1, 2, 3, so 27,000. So 7,000 would go here, and the 2 would be recorded above there. And then finally, 300 times 600 would be 18, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 18 ten thousands, or 18 ten thousands plus 2 more would be 20 ten thousands. There's 20 ten thousands, or 200,000. Let's go ahead and add up our partial products now that we've used up that. Let's see, we've got our 1s, 5 plus 0 is 5. We've got our tens, 5 plus 0 is 5. We've got our hundreds, 4 plus 3 is 7. We've got our thousands, 3 plus 7 is 10. We record it like that. Ten thousands, 0 plus 1 is 1. Used it up. And hundred thousands, 2. So it looks to me like our answer is 210,755. 210,755. And hey, let's go back to our estimate, because when we started this problem, we estimated that our answer would be about 210,000. And sure enough, look at our exact answer. It's really, really close to 210,000. 
giving me more confidence that we got that answer right. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem tonight's homework. Problem number three. Problem number three asks us to do the following. A publisher prints 1,912 copies of a book in each print run. If they print 305 runs, the manager wants to know how many books will be printed. What is a reasonable estimate? So let's see. We use our read, draw, and write strategy anytime we're dealing with a story problem like this, a word problem, and we've done the reading. So let's figure out the drawing. Let's see. We could think of this as a kind of area model. We could say, look, every single run has 1,912 books in it, and they're going to do 305 runs. So we know we're going to do multiplication. But you know what? We don't actually have to do the specifics, right? Because they are just asking for the reasonable estimate. So let's take a look at our numbers. Let's see, 1,912. Let's see, it's got some thousands in it. So the question is, is that closer to 1,000 or closer to 2,000? So we look to our neighboring unit, it's a 9, that's much higher than 5. So I think we can say that a reasonable estimate is that this is about 2,000 copies of books in each print run. And let's see, how many runs do they have? Well, they have 305 runs. Let's see, how many hundreds is that? Well, 300, it's definitely 300, and it's nowhere near 400, right? We're only 5 away from 300, but we're 95 away from 400. So I think a reasonable estimate would, see, would be that it's about 300. And if we're doing that reasonable estimate, and we have this, 2,000s times 300s, 2 times 3 is 6. And let's see, how many 10s do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's go ahead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 600,000. So we've done our drawing. Let's do our writing. Let's see. About 600,000 books were printed. That's a reasonable estimate of those two numbers multiplied together of our product. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Good luck with your homework. Bye-bye.